Hello everyone, Katherine Keller here. Thank you so much for joining me today. Um, today's lesson is one that I am really still um, focusing on grasping in my own life and in my own business in particular. And so for those of you that are business owners or wanting to be uh, business owners, this is something that I really want you to think about because the quote is, bread for myself is a material question, but bread for my neighbor is a spiritual one. So we talk a lot about goal setting. We talk a lot about um, um, our dreams and acquiring our dreams and whatever those dreams may be. And those are great things to have. And there is nothing wrong with wanting material things. You know, you wanting that bread for yourself, that material object. But what really makes our business soar and what I found in my own business is when you think about how you can help your neighbor, how you can give your neighbor that bread. And so when, uh, you know, I just, I'm launching a, a brand new business that I can't wait to share with you guys and tell you what's going on um, alongside of my current business. And when I was really pondering whether or not I wanted to do this and why I wanted to do this and is this something that I really want to take on right now, um, I came across that quote and I thought, you know, I really need to think about this from the level of not only how can it it benefit me and, and help me reach my goals and my dreams, but m uh, my neighbors as well. And my neighbors in this this particular business is the rest of the world. Um, how can I help my kids and, and the rest of the world and other people who would be impacted by this business? What is the spiritual side of this business? And that is something that I really have had to align with in my own mind before I could take those steps and feel comfortable in launching a new business. So if you have already started your business, I really want you to think about what is the higher goal? Is it just to accumulate the house, the car, the bank account, or is there more involved in it? And if there is, really focus on tapping into that because I promise you, your business is going to be so much more successful. You're going to have so much more peace if you can really find that inner purpose of why you're doing what it is you're doing. So I hope that that was really encouraging to you. Like I said, it's something that I'm still working out within myself. And so if you are working that out for yourself, I would love to hear, leave a comment at the bottom and we can maybe work through this together. So I look forward to talking with you guys tomorrow.